Well, making Broadway-style theater affordable to the public is what Florida Studio Theater, or FST, is known for. Through January the 11th, you can see Hairspray. Let's take a look. I can hear the bells as he walks me down the aisle. My mother starts to cry, but I can't see because Lincoln, I are French kiss. And listen, I can hear the bells. Well, joining us is Managing Director of FST, Rebecca Hopkins. Rebecca, welcome to The View. We're glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. It's my first time on this show. Yeah, well, Thank we're so you, you know, FST has a little different kick to it, yeah. right? I mean, it has a little different edge to it. So tell us a little bit about how your productions compare to the traditional Broadway show. Well, I think what you have to keep in mind is as a regional theater, we're more connected to the community. And our theaters, we have five theaters at FST, and ours are very intimate. So while it's the same script, it's mm -hmm. Broadway actors, they're coming in. All of our actors wow. come in from New York. We mm -hmm. house them here in Sarasota. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we have 16 properties downtown oh, where we're That's housing beautiful. actors. And uh, it's the same show, but you're seeing it with 173 to 237 people. Oh, that's an incredible It's always experience. intimate. So, like, I saw Hairspray on Broadway. <laughs> I loved Hairspray on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And then I saw it in our house. And I was just blown away. I had no idea the depth of the story that's going on in that play. It is just fantastic. That's really amazing. Now, the actor that plays in Hairspray, that plays mm -hmm. Tracy's mom, Greg is, London is actually a man. Yes, that's right. I think John Travolta played <laughs> it in the movie. Yeah, yeah. But it, they tend to do that. Why? Yeah, is that? it's yeah. a tradition with the play or, or the movie, original movie with Ricky Lake. It was uh, Divine originally did it, and uh, then on Broadway for the Broadway show, it was Harvey Firestein. Oh, so like here's that. a look okay. at what this looks like on on stage. Where is there a team that's happened? Yes, mom is loving. Greg is having a good time. Oh, so, so as you said, so Florida, or the Florida Studio Theater really started as an alternative sort of theater, right? Yeah. But did I read something that you used to tour prisons, actually? Yeah, so was, tell us sort of those that background. Yeah, FST was founded in 1973 by John Spellman, and he founded it as an alternative touring theater. So we went to migrant, camp, migrant farms, prisons, civic centers, things like that, doing really edgy work. Wow. And then in 1980, when Richard came as the artistic director, he started the resident company as well. And we grew from there. And so today, oh, we've got that. five theaters. Oh, it, it looks a lot different than yeah. this today, no, so, Yeah, that it doesn't look like that today. <laughs> so how, but I guess some folks, that's interesting yeah. then, yeah, yeah, versus yeah. what you have now. It's oh, my growth, goodness. Tremendous growth. But and, some people would say that, what's the difference between edgy, which is what you are in sort of contemporary, which some people think of in theater, or is there a difference? Well, you know, I don't think there is a big difference because we're not just edgy. We're not, I mean, hairspray isn't edgy. Mm -hmm. We're not afraid to go to the edge, but what we're really doing is the, the thoughts of today, contemporary theater. So whatever is the uncreated conscience, that's what we're trying to put on stage. We're trying to get the most recent Broadway off Broadway brand new plays. We've got three regional premieres this year. And we develop all this cabaret work and we do improv, mm -hmm. which is as recent as you can get. And that's about as edgy Jeez. as you can get. Because you, <laughs> you never, never know what's going to come out of the mouth. Kate, we're just yeah. talking about that with the improv. You said a mm -hmm. lot of people come here or gravitate to that program. Yeah. I think it's a, a, a easy entrance into the theater because it is more of a party environment, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you never know what's going to happen. And we live in an instant society. So yeah. the idea of instant theater and mm -hmm. participatory theater is very popular. Are you yeah. surprised at what comes out of your mouth sometimes? I <laughs> am shocked and embarrassed by what comes out of my mouth sometimes. And we are too. We're yeah. just we about worry it. about this. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So tell dancing us what we're looking at. Dancing in the street. Yeah. Ah, oh. yes. This is dancing in the street and our cabaret theater. Oh, I love that. Big hit going right now. It runs till February, and uh, it's four ladies. It's the 50s, 60s, and 70s. 
and they are just packing houses every night. They're fantastic. Are these and actors from New York as well, or do, do you ever have some actors from locally? We do have actors locally. Uh, mm -hmm. This actually opened with an actress locally, Liz Palmer, who moved here after doing a show at oh, LSD. Okay. Yeah, and but she has had to leave the show because she is with child. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, but these are all from New York. Ninety percent yeah. of our actors are in New York, and uh, I actually helped write this show. Oh, Can you tell us a little bit about what we can see coming up through the season? Yeah, actually right now we are opening dancing lessons on the Keating stage, which is the original Florida Studio mm -hmm. Theater, which is a wonderful play. It's a romantic comedy, but it's got a real heart to it dealing with a, a dancer mm -hmm. who is injured, teaching dancing lessons to a young man who's autistic who needs to learn for a, a party he has to go to. Aww. It's a beautiful story. Then we're coming in with Fly, which is fantastic. So much. Oh, that, that is great. Oh, wow. And, and quickly, the great yeah. thing is you can get season tickets, four shows, $75. Wow. Absolutely. Four shows, great $75. Deal. We want the public in the house. It well, doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so if more, for more information, you can go to floridastudiotheater.org. Again, four shows, $75. Broadway Theater, thank you so much for being here. Thank we you. appreciate it. Great. Supporting the arts in the community. Yeah. <laughs> and when we come back, we're going to hear a little bit from Beniva Fruitville. you got to see it to believe it. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.